Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video, we're going to write a get size function to get the size of a binary search tree in Java, or count the number of nodes in the tree. So this is a binary search tree. Every binary search tree has a root node, which is the topmost node, and has a left and right subchild. The size of this tree, we can see there are seven nodes. So we could count up the nodes by saying, well, the root node is one, plus the size of the left subtree, plus the size of the right subtree. So if we can count up all the nodes in the left subtree, and all the nodes in the right subtree, and we add one to that for the root node, then we have our solution. Then what we might want to do is drill further into these subtrees. The size of the left subtree, we could say is one for this three node, which is kind of the root node of the left subtree, one plus the size of its two subtrees. So we have a left subtree and a right subtree, and if we can get the size of each of those two, and then we add one for the three node, we'll have the size of this tree. And we can do the same thing on the eight subtree, five's right subtree, starting with node eight. We can add one for node eight, and then we can add the size of its left subtree and the size of its right subtree. So we can see that this is a recursive solution. Each time we try to get the size of a tree, we have to add one plus the size of its left subtree plus its right subtree. So that's a recursive solution, and you're gonna see how we code that in a second. Now let's look at the Java code. We have a public tree class, and within that public tree class, we have a public method called getSize. First, we're gonna check if the root is null. If it is null, we wanna return zero because the height of the tree is zero. If it's not null, then we'll make a call using the root as the calling object to the recursive getSize method in the node class. So let's scroll down and take a look at the node class. Here's our private node class, and this method is only going to be called by the tree class's getSize method. So it's a private method. We start by setting left size and right size both equal to zero. If there is a left child, we set left size equal to a recursive function call to get size of the left child. If there is a right child, we set right size equal to a recursive function call to get the size of the right child. And then we return 1 plus the left size plus the right size. So that's it. It's a recursive method and this is private. So this is going to return to the tree class's get size method. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.